looks like I need more washi tape, right? <laughs> I was just about to video and then I realized this is in the background and I'm like I'm gonna have to explain this because this is just hilarious look at this chair right it totally does not fit my living room my messy living room by the way TJ's sister has back problems and she had one of these chairs in a much better color and it really helped her back TJ has not been able to like sit with the family in the living room because we don't have any chairs or anything that's comfortable enough for him and he's the only other option is for him to lay on the ground. We had a family friend who made a trip all around town trying to find one of these chairs. She finally found one because it's not this season, right? Who's buying patio furniture? We are. So th she bought this pat this chair, <laughs> and this is the only color it comes in is this camouflagey, funky color. <laughs> the pillow, and so. You're gonna see this in my videos. And every time you see it, you can laugh with me because it's pretty funny. But it does help TJ, so that's good. Today I'm working on a little project for my desk because I've been addicted to washi tape. It's like, I bought way too much washi tape lately. I used a scrapbook and I used to love scrapbook supplies. I just recently got rid of all my scrapbooking supplies except for a few things I just couldn't let go of. But, now I'm buying washi tape. But I'm using them on my notebooks, I'm using them for projects for the kids. So it's actually been kind of a fun thing. And I only buy them like if they're clearance or really cheap. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna organize them and we'll see because I could not find what I was looking for. I really wanted to do one of those old fashioned cardboard pencil boxes. I can't, I can't even find them on Etsy or Amazon. So if you know where to get one of those, let me know. So I found, I was hoping to have a box I could put pins and pencils in, but couldn't find it. So now I'm just doing something for my washi tape. So here's my current collection, and I just bought some more while I was at Target. So I've got these pretty sparkly ones that I got from the Dollar Tree, which I don't even have all my tape here, I don't think. So those are pretty. They're a little annoying because they put the little paper underneath of them so they don't stay rolled up, but that's okay. I got this one from the Dollar Tree and I have a polka dot one somewhere, I think it's upstairs. This one I got at Michael's a while ago and I got it because it was on clearance and I thought it'd be cool for bentos. And I got this one sent to me as a sample for free. That might have been my first experience with washi tape. I just got this one the other day at Michael's. It was in cl on clearance. This one I got for another project before. Another project, which didn't work out because, so washi tape isn't super duper sticky. So I would not recommend it for a project where you want to make sure everything is glued down. I got this at Michael's just the other day for Halloween stuff. And I actually make a little calendar in my notebooks and then I use the washi tape on those. And so this is great for Halloween. Plus, Zarek loved it. I got this one. I got this one for a dollar at Joann's. And I thought it was really cute with the little birds. I got this one just today at Target for a dollar in the dollar section. It's kind of a gold foil. And then I also got this coral polka dot one. And then I found this one and on clearance. And it was $1.58, but look how much tape is on this thing. That is one thing I noticed. You can tell, like some of these only have a little bit and some of these have a lot. And I am a polka dot person if you haven't been able to tell. I also got a notebook for myself when I was at Target. But here you can see this is my to-do list for today and you can see how I use the washi tape. I actually covered up some old writing on this page. I use it as little flags on some pages, different things like that. So here is the boxes that I am using. And what I figure I'd do is I'd use washi tape to decorate it. And I tested these to make sure that the tapes would fit in there, so perfect. And then I also got this paper to cover that bo the box to decorate it. This is a cork paper and it actually has adhesive on the back. I was thinking I was gonna need to use 
glue dots to tape it down, but actually it's already adhesive, so I can just cut it out and put it on the box, so that'll be fun. So let's, I'm gonna get started and then I'll show you the After Effects because I have no idea how I'm gonna decorate it. Oh, I do also have some gold foils, Sharpies, some fun other Sharpies that I got on clearance that might be used for this project too. So the first thing I did is I set the box lid down and then I traced around it right along the edge so that I don't have any extra wasted space. And then I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna put it on the top. But I haven't decided, do I wanna like put it so that it's flush with the edge or do I want it in a little bit and maybe cover the edges with washi tape? I'm not really sure, we'll see. So here's my first box. So I put the square of the cork paper on the top and then I added this glittery band around the bottom edge of the lid and then I put the lace washi tape all the way around the edge of the cork paper because I just wasn't sure about the edge of it, how it looked. And then I used one of the Sharpie foil pins and I just kind of put a little design on it. And then I used the lace tape again and I put it all the way around and I might actually add a polka dot stripe in that. Like I have this really thin one. If I layer that, that might actually look really cool. So I'm gonna try that out. So here it is with the polka dot stripe in the middle of the lace stripe. So I think that actually looks really cool. You could probably even do some really fun gift boxes and de decorate them up like this because this box, this paper mache box, was only a dollar at Joann's. So this whole project here was probably less than two dollars. And, I mean, it's really cute. This is something that somebody might keep for special occasions or, you know, for, like, a place on their desk. Um, I always love giving packages that people can reuse because, hey, I want to reuse everything. So I'm going to try and decorate the next one. I don't know what I want to do with it. I liked the cork paper, but I'm not sure. I couldn't, I didn't feel like I could do as much with the washi tape. So I might do with something with just washi tape on this one. So I just finished up the top of this box. So what I did is I crisscrossed my washi tape. And one of the tricks to crisscrossing to make it look kind of neat, which I didn't do a great job, but just so you know, you want to go one way and then another way and then cross. So you want to crisscross so you get some crossing here in that section. And then I also grabbed some stickers that I had. I thought an owl would be cute on this. And now I'm going to kind of decorate the sides. Oh, and then you can see here I put the polka dot all the way around the edge. I just think the washi tape along the edge of these lids is really cute. So now I'm gonna decorate the sides of the box and I think what I wanna do is I wanna put the owl on one side. I could add some of the glitter tape too, but I'm not sure, I don't wanna overdo it. And the final box. So this is the side. And you can see I did a little bit of fun stuff just on one side mainly. And because when this sits on my desk, it kind of sits out with an edge outside, and this will be the outside edge. And then you can see when I did this piece of tape here, it wasn't quite sticking down, and so some of your edges, if they're not sticking down, you're gonna have to crisscross them. But this is on the bottom of the box, and just the inside of the box. So if you can get your edges to go all the way inside the box, you can cover them if they are peeling up a little bit. Depends upon the surface that they're on. So there's this box. Very cute, which I might have to add an owl to this one too. Maybe a pink owl, because now I'm all suddenly loving the owls. So, cute little owl. So here's this box, very simple, very cute. And then here's this one. And it's just kind of a fun way to make something sit on your desk that's cute. And all I used was washi tape, some funky paper, some scissors, some cool Sharpie pens, and I got some great boxes to keep all my washi tape in it. And I'm gonna show you how the washi tape looks in it. So here's with all my washi tape in it, very cute. Looks like I need more washi tape, right? <laughs> Cause I actually have extra space. I thought that through. And then I'll just put the lids on them. And now I can store them on my desk. I'm very cute, I'm very excited about these. 